Hi, I'm Yasha, one of Questacon's excited particles. Today, I'm so excited because it's my birthday party. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what's in fizzy party drinks like lemonade? There's lots of sugar, but what are those little bubbles of gas? Could you make enough bubbles of gas to fill a balloon? Well, today I'm going to show you how, using a chemical reaction. You'll need a 600ml plastic bottle, a balloon, a funnel, a teaspoon, sodium bicarb, and about 150 milliliters of white vinegar. First, insert the funnel into the neck of the balloon. Then, spoon two heaped teaspoons of sodium bicarb into the balloon and shake it down so that all the sodium bicarb is at the bottom of the balloon. Just like that. I'll just put this to the side for a minute. Now you need to add your vinegar to the bottle, and I'll use my trusty funnel once again. Pour your vinegar in so the bottle is about a quarter of the way full. There we go. Excellent. Now, here comes the tricky bit, because I need to stretch the neck of the balloon over the top of the bottle so that it's nice and secure, being careful not to spill any of the sodium bicarb into the bottle. Now, holding onto the bottle tightly, I'm going to tip the sodium bicarb from the balloon into the vinegar, and we should see a chemical reaction. Here we go. <laughs> it's a balloon blowout! The sodium bicarb and the carbon dioxide are reacting with each other to produce a gas, carbon dioxide gas. You can see the bubbles forming in the bottle, and there is so much gas that it's filling up the balloon. The carbon dioxide gas is the same gas as those little bubbles in your lemonade and other fizzy drinks. If you like more Excited Particles action, head to the Questacon website, where science is fun. See you next time.